What's up, folks? I'm in Las Vegas at the Flamingo this weekend for the Industry Summit. Hope to get you some updates while I'm here on all the insider stuff going on in the business. Good morning, Las Vegas. What's up, folks? It's about 7.30 in the morning at the Flamingo. I'm headed downstairs for the morning meeting. A lot of stuff going on this week, starting right now. Follow the stories to keep up. What's up? It's about 8.30 in the morning. Morning meeting hosted by GTS. A little breakfast. Getting to know some people in the industry at the Flamingo. Welcome to the 2017 Industry Summit at the Flamingo in Las Vegas. So, talk to a little bit about some of the trends you're seeing, number one, in grading, and <coughs> what sort of price structure changes might be involved with that. There's major markets, whether it's Pittsburgh, Green Bay, Dallas, Denver, obviously give everybody a spike in sales and push the industry. Things not telling you what we're doing or what I want from you, but anyone in here can come up to me at any point in the show and give me what they think we should be doing. So morning meetings are done, welcoming, stuff like that is taken care of, quick lunch break and then into the afternoon stuff. Gonna have some fun stuff from Tops coming up. Hope you guys are hanging in there. It is just a beautiful day today in Las Vegas, Nevada. Also wanna give some love to my boys in blue who are kicking it off in LA today. Beat those Friars for me. Anyone going to that game, let me know how it goes. And I'm gonna keep updating you here from the summit in Las Vegas. Presentation is really almost a one-on-one for brick and mortar stores. Interesting to get to break. As how group breaking has developed and where you see it going from where it is now into the future. Uh, well, we started group breaking about three years ago. So three years ago there was a uh, opportunity. Tops was doing a grab bag, and I just pulled this sweet Aaron Judge one of one. Uh, so I'm here at the summit. I'm in the Panini room. Just had a great conversation with the people at Panini. They're doing a good job, working harder to bring some good autographs and cards to you guys. Looking forward to get you some more info soon from Panini. That's all that was available. <laughs> it works though, right? It works. There's nothing else in the hobby. Yeah. Yeah. Onyx Authenticated is a great company who puts out some really nice autographed cards, kind of like this Korea autograph. Look for their products in our store soon. Just catching the score. That. That is definitely what I'm talking about. Go Dodgers. So getting a little outdoor break here in the middle of the Flamingo before Tops is doing a big raffle and a box break. It's pretty nice out here today. Weather could not be better. Back in the tops room, getting ready for a drawing. And we might sporadically do prizes for enthusiasm. So, <laughs> so when you come up here and you open up your packs, you kind of you know show it to the crowd, let everybody know what you got. If you got something really special, John Mancata, sixteen of fifty auto. 
Back in my room now, I did not have any luck with the Topps raffle, but I am having some luck with this view. Not too shabby. And I'm stoked for the Dodgers. They won their opening day game. Kershaw was dominant, and Yasmani Devil hit a couple of bombs. First person to do that since Mondesi in 99. Congrats, Dodgers. Way to start off the season. And now we are off to grab a bite to eat. Some free time here. My boy from GTS Distribution taking us out for a bite. What's up, Chris? There it is. Talk North Carolina wins it. All right, here we are, morning number two. Successful day yesterday. On and off the field this morning. Morale is high. Rations are high. Ready for business. Cheers. Look at this. Empty room. Piano in the corner. Could be trouble. Oh, I could hide neath the wings of the bluebird as she sings. All right, just had some breakfast, getting ready to walk into the morning meeting. I will keep you updated. So, being in a store, you have the ability to display it, decorate your store, and have these products. Most important thing that you should have at your checkout would be top loaders and soft sleeves. They go hand in hand. Yeah, it's, it you know, while it's been a, a big topic that a lot of people have spoken about recently, it's not a new law. It's actually an old law that has been recently expanded. Okay, morning meeting is over with. A lot of topics covered, including a pretty hefty legal conversation. I'll tell you more about that later. Uh, more to come. What's up, Hall of Famers? I'm here. I just spoke with uh, Alan. Showing him, Hall of Famers. Showing him how to use Instagram stories. He's at uh, Big League Cards in Florida. Check him out. Good guy. Yeah, so that was a great little uh, presentation from Alan in the Tops room. And uh, look forward to some really cool new in-store events. Uh, this year. I look forward to sharing those with you guys. Fun stuff coming after So this figurine company called Icon AI has a cool app and you touch the phone onto the shoe and then the player from that figurine comes up and you can interact with him and then he comes up I think he gives you a high five. Boom! And then he can change his uniforms out. Very cool interactive uh, figurines from this company. Look for some of that. About to start the afternoon meeting uh, here. Let's get this off and start. Here we go. Thank you for coming to meet. Is there any particular athlete or entertainer that you're seeing a disproportionate number of fakes on right now? Well, I, I, you know, in, in the entertainment side, it's always anything that's hot. So, uh, final question uh, for people that may not have had a chance to read the full press release regarding uh, Mickey Mantle. He's a NASCAR. Uh, how many of you are familiar with BCW as the mm -hmm. primary supplier to the hobby of storage boxes? Uh, it is basically a mashup of collecting baseball cards and playing fantasy baseball. It's as simple as that, really. Uh, there's, there's a tough challenge out there right now. And it's not been discussed a whole lot at this uh, meeting, but it's a reality. And that, and that job, and those guys that had that job, it's a really tough job because they've got to figure out but uh, thank you guys for taking a few minutes or an hour, a lot of minutes, to talk to me. Um, you know, I don't script any of this, I just talk. But it's much more than Topps and Panini and Upper Deck. I've been buying Cryptozoic, Sage, Rittenhouse, everything that's great. Yeah, great here. presentation from Leaf. Now they're giving us all a gift with some uh, cut signatures inside. What's it going to be? I'll tell you later. All right, GTS spinning the wheel here. Let's see what happens. Ooh, Ultra Pro Supplies. 
also look for maybe some of this new product. It's a fantasy baseball product that correlates fantasy baseball with actual trading cards. Some cool stuff coming soon to Hall of Fame. Topps has some great new products coming this season, including Topps Diamond Icons. Good. I did well in the case break. Got that sweet Frank Thomas auto and that box of soccer cards. Now we're heading to the bowling event. Fun times coming up. And I just scored a box of the Honus Bonus Fantasy Baseball cards I was talking about. Stop by the shop later this week if you want to grab some. We're going to head right up to bowling and we will get things started. Bus 2 is not even half full yet, so they will be waiting for a little bit. All right, we just arrived at the Orleans Hotel off the Strip for the bowling extravaganza presented by Magazine Exchange and Tops. <laughs> All right, just finished some bowling. Now we're in the uh, meeting room here at the bowling alley. Get ready for a huge raffle. I just won this industry exclusive Moniac 3 of 4 auto in the raffle. All right, back at the Flamingo. Just finished some dinner and I'm gonna call it a night, but great day. Uh, maybe I'll give you another update tomorrow. Good times. Peace out. Morning of day three. It's almost nine o'clock, got to sleep in a little. Just uh, left my room for the last time and gonna go down to the meeting hall, see if anything's going on. I'll keep you posted. So I'm in the main hall again, getting ready for the final debriefing and apparently some industry awards. So we'll see how that goes. There were a lot of awards given this weekend, but here's just a few of them. Alan and Ginter wins best pop culture product. Panini Select Soccer won Best Global Sports Product. Panini National Treasures wins Best Football Product. These were all voted on by people in the industry. GTS Distribution won Excellence in Distribution. It's our main company. We love GTS. Card of the Year was awarded to Upper Decks Connor McDavid, a Young Guns rookie card. Product of the year was Panini National Treasures Football. So yeah, the uh, wrap-up is over. Uh, they did some awards for best products. We did a, a brainstorming roundtable for ideas for the hobby and for next year. And that's about it from the summit. So yeah, as I'm leaving the convention area, I just want to let you guys know I have a lot of new information and stuff I'd love to share if anyone's interested in learning more about what's going on, contact me or stop by our shop as soon as you can. And that's it from the Industry Summit 2017 at the Flamingo in Las Vegas. It's been a good and rewarding time for me. Stop by our shop or contact us if you have any questions or need any info. Hope to see you soon.